Namaste everyone and welcome back to Live Stronger. Today we are going to train our chest along with a little bit of calf training, maybe some core work too. So let's begin. We are going to start as usual with 4 to 5 minutes of dynamic stretching, pre workout, something which I prefer to do just to get me, get my mobility going on. I start off with the greatest stretch, 4 to 5 rotations each side then followed by a deep squat and a bird dog pose again five repetitions each side you may choose to do a five minute cardio any machine of your choice in the cardio equipment but otherwise i would always recommend to do or at least suggest to do cardio post workout cardio pre workout is not advised i feel a little bit of dynamic work and warm up should get your blood flowing get you all warmed up so that should be ideal deep squat you can sit for a few seconds now deep squat is something which you can sit repeatedly throughout the day any point of the uh, any point of the day for however long you want to it's a good way to improve or keep a healthy hip mobility now the bird dog pose is to improve my core stability and strength and before doing any kind of compound movements regardless of which muscle i'm working with i think this helps a lot even if you're doing any kind of athletic movements athletic uh, training this helps to keep your core absolutely good to go at least now today we are going to train our chest mostly based on cables somehow i'm not feeling quite good with my the usual culprit the left shoulder no injury as such nothing it's just a little bit of discomfort maybe the way i sleep but yeah cables feel a lot more comfortable in terms of pushing and i also get a lot more connection with my muscle good amount of blood flow so we're going to start with high to low crossovers three sets 20 repetitions uh, the break in between could be up to 60 seconds depending upon how quickly you can recover from the uh, short fatigue or the immediate fatigue of the muscle due to the workout make sure the weight is challenging May, uh, don't take something extremely low in weight and every repetitions when you when you're going to do one of the things as you can notice me doing as my arms go away from my body i push myself down to get that extra bit of stretch on my chest and as i push back up i get back to a more neutral position so the stretch is the most important part as i keep telling in every workout so make sure you try to stretch yourself out as much as possible every rep and from there explosively push down to get the maximum contraction now this would be high in volume because three sets 20 repetitions will take some time and also get can get you a little bit of out of breath so take the rest breaks accordingly so before we move on to the next cable workout of the chest i started doing a little bit of calf work this allows my chest muscle to recover slightly in terms of the fatigue in terms of the volume you may choose to not do it and immediately skip to the next workout that's absolutely fine but for me uh, calf work is quite important because i want to improve the volume of my calf muscles i want to get my calf muscles a lot more stronger a lot more rounder in shape let like put a little bit of more muscle on it so yes i keep doing them on a regular basis as much as possible unless until the day's choice of workouts take too much of time that i have to skip it i don't skip it now i stick to one of the exercises which i prefer to do is the calf presses on the leg press machine because it gives me a lot more uh, stability and also control over the exercise yeah i mean otherwise you can also do seated calf races and also starting uh, standing calf race standing calf races i feel it a lot more on my tendons so that's the reason i prefer to do them on a leg press machine where my legs are still straight but i'm able to control the concentration of the weight or at least the working of the muscle a lot more now for the next exercise we are going to do mid crossovers so basically the cable is right now at my shoulder level so i'm proper adduction is going on you want to hug a tree basically i think i heard i forgot from where did i hear hear this cue but it's a great cue you want to hug a big trunk tree 
create that big hug to get the maximum contraction and again while stretching out you want to slightly lean forward to get that maximum stretch and as you can see how my chest starts turning red in the center because of all the blood flow getting accumulated and all the work it has to do in terms of getting the stretch my shoulders feel great when i'm doing cable based chest exercise i don't know for what reason but when i am trying to do the same intensity with a barbell i feel a little bit of weakness in my left side i, I need to really put a little bit brains into my that part of the error but otherwise on a cable my shoulders feel great it's i don't know maybe it's the strength curve that makes it happen or maybe the range of motion so now post completing the cable crossovers mid range we move on to a little bit of core work wherein i basically did a superset of plank and hanging leg raises now hanging leg raises i want to achieve a uh, toe touch basically touching your toe to top of the bar range as of now i'm still not yet there i'm still trying to or at least focus in getting my ass to the wall basically get as much crunch as possible in my abdominal region so i was i plank for one minute and then go for my hanging leg raises then i come back and plank for another or at least try to plank for another one minute now this is extremely taxing i could only do two sets basically two super sets plank leg raises plank leg raises and within two to three minutes my core was taxed and i was close to cramping so i did not push it any much further so yes you may try it you can do a regular plank i prefer to do it on a bosu ball because it's a lot more comforting on my elbows and my shoulders so here again for leg raises i place a bar behind my back so i don't swing much i have control over my repetitions i go all the way down and as you can see every time i raise my legs i try to get my ass in front basically my glutes whichever terminology you prefer to use so that way i get a great amount of crunch i don't want to just lead with my hip muscles i want to use my abdominal muscles to get that curvature up as we raise our legs post completing that i moved on to a simple flat bench press with lighter weight dumbbells nothing extremely heavy but controlled repetitions making sure i don't feel any discomfort at the same time i keep the amazing pump which i have achieved in my chest so the range of motion would be similar go as low as possible almost bringing the dumbbells beside your chest getting that deep stretch and from there pushing them back up with a flat bench press it's pretty simple setup you want to keep your legs far behind as far behind as possible and push with them so that you get a little bit of push from there far more helpful when you're doing with a barbell with dumbbells uh, you need a lot more stability so of course you need to focus on that bit also with your shoulders when you're using dumbbells because dumbbells want to go everywhere with a barbell it stays almost stays in a single path unless until you you have really bad shoulders that's when you need help but otherwise yes three sets of these again 20 repetitions a lot of volume break as required as uh, needed you may change the timing of the break and that's it we are done for today we are going to finish off with uh, with a with static stretching four stretch wherein i hold couple of lightweight dumbbells as long as possible in a fly position to stretch out the muscle get a lot of blood flowing in there tax the uh, entire muscle in terms of resisting the uh, opposite motion of the muscle which is uh, at this point of time abduction chest does abduction so i'm doing abduction here so it's getting forced to stretch out thank you so much for watching the video if did if you did like the video please do drop a like and if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel please do subscribe any feedback in the comment section is greatly appreciated i'm finishing off with a simple over the head uh, shoulder stretch out with a pvc pipe which i have done previously also so you may do that so hold for 15 to 20 seconds so yeah that's it thank you so much for joining i'll see you in the next video take care